SpaceX is about to unleash the biggest rocket the world has ever seen. While NASA and the SLS continue to stumble, SpaceX is making steady progress with its super heavy booster, which promises to usher in a new era of space exploration. Let's talk about this impressive rocket and when we can expect to see it soar through the skies. The orbital pad serves as the stage where Starship demonstrates its abilities, but the spotlight in its initial journey belongs to the Super Heavy, showcasing its capacity to lift enormous tons into space. This underlines the immense importance of Super Heavy for SpaceX. It's the key to unlocking the world's future. SpaceX not only refines numerous prototypes of the Starship spacecraft, but also extensively modifies its colossal booster. The rapid pace of transformation in the Starship booster has astonished the world and excited NASA scientists. Each iteration of the Starship booster undergoes significant changes, illustrating SpaceX's unwavering dedication to advancing technology. Super Heavy, crafted to launch Starship's substantial upper stage, is in some ways simpler, yet equally intricate. It's a large vertical launch and landing liquid rocket booster, a type SpaceX is already familiar with through Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy. What truly sets Super Heavy apart is its sheer size. Measuring approximately 72 meters from end to end, it's nearly as tall as an entire two-stage Falcon 9 or Falcon Heavy rocket. With a width of 9 meters, a single Super Heavy booster can store at least 6 or 7 times more propellant than Falcon 9 and about 2 to 3 times more than Falcon Heavy. The engine count and peak thrust of the Super Heavy booster are remarkably impressive, setting a new standard in total thrust. With 33 engines, it surpasses the previous record held by the Soviet Union's N1 moon rocket, which had 30 engines generating 10 million pounds of thrust. Achieving this feat wasn't easy. SpaceX underwent numerous booster tests and upgrades, striving for perfection. The development journey of Super Heavy was akin to climbing a hill, starting from simplicity and gradually ascending to complexity from low to high levels of performance. SpaceX continuously refined its approach, aiming for the pinnacle of power. On March 18th, 2021, Elon Musk unveiled SpaceX's first Starship Super Heavy booster. Musk noted that Booster 1 was a production pathfinder, indicating a stepping stone toward perfection. He expressed the vision for Booster 2 to be the one to take flight. However, despite the initial optimism, reality proved challenging. Even after 16 months since its launch, no Super Heavy prototype has successfully flown. SpaceX retired five official booster prototypes, BN1, BN2, BN3, BN4, and BN5, within just over a year. This timeline highlights the hurdles and technical complexities SpaceX faced during Super Heavy's development. Despite these challenges, SpaceX's commitment to improvement is evident. The timeline, although marked by delays and setbacks, showcases SpaceX's determination to refine prototypes and push the boundaries of space exploration. Booster 4 marked a significant milestone as SpaceX's first fully stacked prototype in August 2021, with high hopes for its maiden orbital flight. However, shortly after completion, both Booster 4 and Ship 20 were retired. The subsequent prototypes displayed substantial technical advancements, making Booster 4 obsolete. One standout is Booster 7, which incorporated commendable design features. Unlike Booster 4's 29 Raptor V1 engines, Booster 7 was engineered to house up to 33 Raptor V2 engines, enabling a remarkable 40% increase in thrust. Notably, Booster 7 introduced several design improvements, including external conduits protecting wiring and more compact plumbing. Significantly, alterations to the aero covers, which shield crucial hardware, were implemented. Two noteworthy modifications distinguish Booster 7 further. First, aero covers were added, providing enhanced aerodynamics. Second, large internal header tanks were integrated to store landing propellants, enhancing operational efficiency. Additionally, new sharp-edged aero covers were designed to fit over two pairs of five composite overwrapped pressure vessels, COPVs, positioned a third of the way up Booster 7's tanks. Super Heavy Booster 7 introduced innovative changes, including fixed wing-like structures, enhancing aerodynamic stability. Unlike its predecessor, Booster 7 incorporated a full set of internal header tanks. This advancement allowed the storage of all necessary landing propellant in separate tanks, reducing the need for pressurization gas. This design improvement ensured a continuous flow of propellant to Super Heavy's Raptor engines during complex maneuvers in space and the atmosphere. Despite these enhancements, Booster 7's mission with Starship 24 ended in a spectacular explosion, capturing global attention. SpaceX, undeterred by this setback, swiftly transitioned to new prototypes with even bolder upgrades, gearing up for their next launch. A significant and pivotal upgrade in SpaceX's technology is the hot staging enhancement planned for Super Heavy, starting from Booster 9. This enhancement is a phase separation approach for the Starship, diverging from the previously planned bottle opening mechanism for the booster. Unlike the conventional method, where all engines shut down before the next stage ignites, the Starship's engines will begin firing before all the Super Heavy engines have shut down. This technique, long employed in Russian rockets, is aimed at enhancing the performance of Super Heavy. 
Elon Musk explained that in this approach, most of the engines on the booster would be shut down, leaving only a few running, while simultaneously the engines on the Starship or upper stage would start firing. This simultaneous ignition process, while boosting performance, presents the challenge of protecting the top of the booster from incineration caused by the upper stage engines. To address this, a shield will be added to the top of the super heavy stage, along with an extension featuring vents. These vents will redirect the exhaust plumes from the upper stage engines away from the lower stage during the initial startup. The introduction of hot staging brings a significant advantage in terms of payload to orbit, estimated to be around a conservative 10% improvement according to Musk. The hot gas manifold of the Raptor engine is engineered to carry extremely hot methane-rich gas into the combustion chamber. However, the high temperatures could lead to leaks through the bolt holes where the manifolds are attached. Elon Musk revealed that the manifold has undergone a redesign, incorporating torque fittings to securely tighten the bolts, thus eliminating the potential for leaks at these connection points. Looking ahead, Booster 9 and subsequent super-heavy prototypes will feature enhanced engine control in comparison to Booster 7. This improvement involves a complete overhaul of the thrust vector control, enhancing the maneuverability of each engine. Unlike the previous complex system of plumbing and hydraulic power units bolted to the side of Super Heavy, Booster 9's 13 central Raptors will be electrically steered. SpaceX's strategic upgrades have resulted in significant advancements, allowing them to remove power units and streamline the intricate plumbing needed to fuel, control, and steer multiple high-performance rocket engines on a single booster. These improvements align seamlessly with SpaceX's planned trajectory, showcasing their unexpectedly successful outcomes. Booster 9, a testament to these advancements, underwent two static fire tests. During these tests, engines 29 and 31 were activated swiftly, encountering fewer issues compared to previous prototypes. The successful performance of Booster 9 surprised many, marking a significant achievement for SpaceX in a remarkably short period. This rapid progress has astonished NASA scientists, highlighting SpaceX's relentless effort and continuous improvement in creating superior products. During this time, Starship, once just a concept for SpaceX's heavy-lift orbital vehicle, evolved through numerous iterative prototypes. The journey culminated in Starship's first flight in April, marking a pivotal moment in space exploration. SpaceX's dedication to addressing past limitations and pushing the boundaries of technology has paved the way for their continued success as Starship is set to resume flights later in the year. When first conceptualized in 2010, NASA's Space Launch System, SLS, was envisioned as the world's largest and most potent rocket. It was promoted as a cost-effective and rapidly constructed project, leveraging existing components from the shuttle program, including engines and boosters. However, the reality has fallen far short of these expectations. Instead of becoming a symbol of efficiency and progress, the SLS has become NASA's most contentious project in recent history. The SLS project has been plagued by a series of setbacks, including significant delays and budgetary challenges. Despite the initial promise, the rocket has only flown once, and as of now, there is no confirmed restart date for its future launches. What do you think? Is there any hope for the SLS, or should NASA turn to SpaceX and the Super Heavy? Share your thoughts in the comments below.